after last weekend's rainouts of quite literally everything outdoors, events, and so much more. They are back and better than ever. We're going to be talking about good places you can be enjoying beverages outdoors with our nightlife correspondent, Sam Slaughter. I'm so excited we actually get to hang out in person. Yes, I time. always hear you on the, on the IFV, so this is great. We're real life <laughs> friends now, guys. And so author of Are You Afraid of the Dark Rum? Dun, dun, dun. He has recommendations for us here. And so like we we're talking about the weather in the upstate's beautiful this weekend. Yes. What are some places we can get outdoors and enjoy some spirits? Uh, I mean, first of all, Last week, or last week, we were going to be talking about this, and we got rained out, so not fun. But now the weather is cooled down. It is perfect for sitting outdoors. You're not going to sweat all the time. Oh. Um, and so there are tons of places in Greenville that just are perfect for this. Mm -hmm. And one in particular stands out, Al Fresco. What do you like there? Um, the Al Fresco. Okay, well, Hampton Station, the Hampton Alfresco Station. drink. Yes. yes, yes, yes. We're back on track. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Hampton Station. Perfect. Um, that was one of the first places I ever went when really? I moved to Greenville. Oh. And so with Birds Fly South there, uh, with White Duck, with Wandering Bard, mm. all of these places, you can grab your drinks. You can see all of them right there. Uh, they've got the the tables outside. Uh, just really, it's, it's perfect because you can get food. You can get mm -hmm. drinks. Uh, there's KP, the new Georgian restaurant, where you can have some really cool food that's not anywhere else in Greenville. Very true. And I love Hampton Station, just the history of the building and the, the TV's outside. You can just really make a whole day of it. Yeah, you can. Um, and then uh, if you have kids, there's plenty of space for them to kind of run around. Uh, if you want an activity, there's craft axe throwing there as well. Ooh. So you can just, you know, have a beer, throw some axes, or they've got like ninja stars, which is, mm. I've done them, they're super fun. What is that like? Like, like a, a ninja safe flame a throwing or uh, like the shurikens, <laughs> like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle oh, style. Oh, gotcha. Okay, yeah. get your ninja on this weekend. Very yeah. nice. Well, I was actually interviewing the Do South guy, and he was so cool. He was like, you know what? This is kind of Greenville's beach. You know, he's like, we don't have sand, we don't have water, but everyone just kind of plops out for the afternoon, and it's just a great time. Bring a blanket, uh, mm -hmm. hang out, bring bring your dog. It's very dog friendly. Mm -hmm. um, I like going. I can't bring my dog out, but I like going to pet other people's dogs. Gotcha. Uh, that is one of my favorite pastimes. <laughs> and I think probably a lot of our viewers and another great outdoor space, Gather Greenville. I actually, I mean, being new to town, I want to try all the places. I was just there this past weekend. Yeah. So much fun there. It is. It, it's great. Uh, you can get a ton of different foods. There's cheesesteaks. There's uh, there's pizza. There's a bunch of different stuff. You can get cocktails. They've got the, the stage there where there's live music. They do, I think, uh, bingo there at some point. Oh, fun. Um, my, you know, one of my favorites, Greenville Beer Exchange is there as well, mm. so you can get a nice selection of craft beers. Mm -hmm. And then if you're going to like a baseball game or anywhere else downtown, it's all walkable. Great point. And if we want to maybe go off of the beaten path a little bit, past downtown, there's a unique spot in Easley that you're a big fan of. Yeah, uh, the silos. So that that's the, I would, I think it's the newest one. I don't know if that opened before or after Gather. I think it was after, but uh, you've got the silos brew, uh, brewery, brewing, silos brewing there. Uh, there's a Indian street food place that you can get food on. There's the Inky's also cheesesteak. So mm. uh, you can get cheesesteak both at Gather and at Silos if you're a fan of that. Um, I am. A cheese is, <laughs> Hello. Cheese is life. Uh, and so life. You, you can get really anything out there. I mean, for us in Greenville, it's not, it may seem like a little further away, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. uh, but it's what, 20 minutes or so, you can, right. you can just get out there and spend a day out there. You can get food, you can get beer, you, you know. Perfect. It, it's got, it's all self-contained and mm -hmm. uh, plenty of outdoor space to enjoy. Awesome, and how friendly is it? I mean, being a transplant myself, I want to make sure I can go somewhere and feel comfortable by myself. Yeah. Could I go and make some friends? Oh yeah, yeah. I think so. Uh, you know, grab a beer, saddle up to the bar and just uh, start talking to people. Absolutely, that's the only way to do it. Well, very exciting and uh, along with your food and drink tours, you've also been busy writing and any of projects you want to promote here on Access? Uh, well, not a project of mine, but today down in Columbia, I'm heading down after this to the Great American Whiskey Fair, which is a wonderful whiskey fair, so mm -hmm, self-explanatory, mm -hmm. uh, but I'll be judging the cocktail competition down there, so I get to try some really fun whiskeys and then uh, drink a bunch of cocktails. Well, congratulations for being chosen for a judge. Yeah, it's fun. That's a lot of pressure. Do you going to have is. to put on the poker face, or are you like, this is incredible? Poker face is the the first cocktail, and then by the end, <laughs> it's talking with the other judges very low. I mean, my voice is low, so most people can't hear it if a, there's gotcha. a crowd, so mm. it works out. Wow, got a tricks of the trade, and people can follow you, Sam Slaughter, on social media to see what you are up doing, especially this weekend. That uh, competition sounds very fun, and the information is on the screen below. Thank you so much. Thank you.